Everybody, I'm Diane Daniels. We begin with a tragic update to a story we first brought you as breaking news last night on WSBT 22. A pedestrian hit on East Ewing Street in South Bend has died, and now police say the driver who hit her is facing an OWI charge for more. We turn to WSBT 22, Zach Crenshaw, live in the studio. Zach? Good evening, Diane. Police have confirmed the name of the victim. She's Amy Mitchell from South Bend, a mother and wife who passed away at Memorial Hospital last night. Today, I talked with Amy's relatives and friends who were stunned to learn the driver who hit her is now suspected of being under the influence. This man, 47-year-old John William Statton of Mishawaka, was arrested late last night and booked on a preliminary charge of felony OWI causing death. That's according to a South Bend police spokesman who says he hit Amy Mitchell as she was returning to a family Christmas party. Police say she was hit crossing the street after she had gone out to buy soda. Now, the cans and boxes line Ewing Street outside the house where she was going to celebrate. In fact, police say one of Amy's family members saw it happen. Also on the ground, evidence of the paramedics as they tried to save Amy before rushing her to Memorial where she passed away. Amy's friends are still coming to grips with it all. I just can't, it's just, I just can't believe it right now, you know. Tammy Acoff worked beside Amy for four years in South Bend as a hairstylist. She loved her job. She loved her kids. She loved her husband. She loved what she did. She, I mean, she was awesome at her job, doing hair, makeup. Tammy said Amy was involved with her church and had started her own salon in the last year. She was just an all-around good person. And, uh, She's really, truly going to be missed by a lot of people. <laughs> I'm sorry. Now, an autopsy in the case is scheduled for tomorrow, and the prosecutor's office will begin reviewing potential charges against Staten this week. In the studio, Zach Crenshaw, WSBT 22 News.